welcome to the class of computer aided design of electrical machine uh, today's topic is design of transformer core we are aware about the two types of transformer the first one uh, in the uh, figure is core type transformer and the second one is shell type transformer this is shell type transformer and this is core type transformer so uh, the first point is size of transformer size of transformer depends upon these uh, parameters that is hw ww aw ai where hw is height of the window width of the window aw is the window area and ai is nothing but a area of this leg okay uh, so uh, as the area of leg ai and window area aw uh, are related that is aw is nothing but product of height of the window and width of the window as this uh, aw is increases size of the window also increases and also ultimately size of the transformer increases as the output of transformer increases so a uh, design of course the next point is design of course for core type transformer cross section may be rectangular type square type or step type uh, we will discuss this uh, one by one when rectangular cores are used in the used the coils are also rectangular in shape the rectangular core is suitable for small and low voltage transformers uh, when circular coils are required for distribution power transfer the square core and step cores are used uh, this is the diagram for rectangular core square core and stepped core uh, you can see in the rectangular core all laminations are used are of same size uh, and also in the case of square core but in the uh, case of stepped core uh, there are different sizes uh, laminations are used and each uh, lab, uh, each different types of laminations are stacked together to form a uh, step core uh, in square core diameter of the circumscribing circle uh, diameter of this circle is larger than the diameter of the step cores uh, of same area of cross section uh, thus when step cores are used the length of mean turn of winding is reduced uh, with the consequent reduction in both cost of copper and copper loss uh, however the large number of steps a large number of different size of lamination have to be used uh, so what is the meaning of this statement the statement says that uh, if you are using step core then we need to uh, take a number of laminations of different size which will increases the uh, cost of manufacturing uh, but it will reduces the area required uh, this results in the higher labor charges uh, while uh, st uh, laminate, uh, laminations are need to be uh, stacked them together. That's why assembling charges are also large as compared with the square core and rectangular core. So square core. So uh, this di uh, this diagram is nothing but a uh, simplified diagram of square core where this circle is nothing but a winding and this uh, square denotes the core. And that D is nothing but the diameter of the circumscribing circle and A is this uh, length and width of this uh, square core. So D is diameter of circumscribing circle, D is diagonal uh, of the square that is A is equal to side of square. Uh, so what is the relation between D and A? Uh, with the help of Pythagoras theorem we can say uh, D is equal to under root A square plus A square that is D is equal to root 2 into A. So similarly A is equal to uh, D divided by root 2. Uh, so we can calculate area of square that is a square uh, meaning of the d square is nothing but a side square so a square uh, we can calculate in terms of d uh, then we can get relation between a and d that is a square is equal to 0.5 d square uh, if you are assuming uh, stacking factor of the lamination is 0.9 uh, then net core area that is ai is is equal to 0.9 into 0.5 d square so ultimately we can calculate ai is equal to 0.45 d square and with the help of uh, area formula for area of a circle we can calculate pi by 4 d square is nothing but area of circumscribing circle uh, so with the help of these uh, calculations uh, we can get this two ratio that is net core area divided by area of circumscribing circle is equal to 0.45 d square divided by pi by 4 d square okay and gross core area area of circumscribing uh, circle this ratio uh, will remain as 0.5 d square divided by pi by 4 d square so it will uh, be 0.64 so there is a difference between these two ratios this uh, first ratio is net core area and this, uh, second ratio is uh, consists gross core area so you can see this difference that is 0 0.58 and 0 0.64 so uh, two step core two step core also is, uh, is also called as a cruciform core where um, two types of laminations are used 
uh, to uh, occupy maximum area within the circle so a b d these are the uh, terminologies used that a is nothing but length of rectangle or b is nothing but breadth of the rectangle and d is diameter of the circumscribing circle where we are supposed to calculate theta which is nothing but a angle between its a and b so we can see in next diagram uh, this is the uh, cruciform crore where this rectangle denotes the horizontal uh, portion of the core and this vertical portion of the core and we, we are uh, so, uh, assuming this d is nothing but diameter of the circumscribing circle b is nothing but width of this vertical laminations and b uh, he, this this b is nothing but a height of this uh, horizontal laminations and a is nothing but a width of this horizontal lamination so we are supposed to calculate relation between um, d and b uh, that is we, we are expecting uh, value of theta which will be nothing but a uh, expected value of angle between this d and a which will give a maximum area occupied within the circumscribing circle so with the help of this ge geometry we can calculate theta theta is nothing but relation between b and a with the help of trigonometry rules uh, we can calculate this theta that is opposite b that is width of this horizontal lam uh, sorry height of this uh, horizontal laminations and uh, uh, width of this uh, horizontal laminations a that we can calculate with the help of cosine uh, adjacent size and uh, uh, hypotenuse that is cos theta will uh, be equal to a by d and similarly sin theta will be b by d so you, you can see here cos theta is equal to a by d sin theta will be b by d so uh, to get the maximum core area uh, d is uh, d we can obtain uh, where theta uh, will be a maximum value so for two step core can be divided into three rectangles uh, with the help of that geometry we can calculate area of the three rectangles uh, the previous diagram with the help of this previous uh, diagram and uh, trigonometry rules we can calculate agi that is gross core area is equal to ab plus a minus b divided by 2 into b a minus b divided by 2 into b is equal to ab plus 2 a minus b divided by 2 into b so what is the meaning of this agi is nothing but a area of the core which can be uh, calculated with the help of uh, area of individual three parts that is agi is equal to ab plus ab minus b square uh, and simplified uh, outcome is 2ab minus b square so by substituting a relation between a and d and b and d we can uh, convert this equation that is this equation into uh, into the theta that is agi is equal to 2 into b d cos theta d sin theta minus d sin theta square that is uh, agi agi is equal to d square sin 2 theta minus d square sin 2 theta by simplifying this equation so uh, so for uh, getting maximum value of theta we need to differentiate that aj with respect to theta so the previous equation we can differentiate with the help of uh, differentiation d by d theta aj is equal to 0 by uh, comparing it with 0 we can get maximum value of theta so uh, for differentiating you can uh, use this one uh, you can pause this video for a while and you can calculate on your own okay d by d theta aj is equal to d square cos 2 theta into 2 minus d square 2 sin theta cos theta so by differentiating we can get this term d squared cos 2 theta into 2 minus d squared 2 sin theta cos theta is equal to 0 so uh, d squared 2 sin theta sin theta cos theta is equal to d square cos 2 theta into 2 because of this is double angle formula we can uh, put it here and d square sin 2 theta is equal to d square cos 2 theta into 2 so by taking this sin 2 theta cos theta terms on uh, uh, single side we can get tan 2 theta is equal to 2 so with the help of uh, simplifying this theta is equal to half tan square uh, minus 2 31.72 degrees the angle which can be uh, maximum angle because we have calculated this angle by differentiating the term agi so for uh, theta is equal to 31.72 degree uh, we can calculate a and b so by putting theta is equal to 31 degree uh, a is equal to 0.85 d that is width of the largest stamping and b is nothing but also uh, uh, height of the uh, horizontal laminations that is 0.30 d so we have calculated a in terms of d and b in terms of d okay so why we are using the three steps uh, uh, different types of course that is two step core to um, get a maximum uh, area utilized 
uh, and to reduce the to reduce the uh, to reduce the space wasted in the in between uh, coils and uh, cores. So core area factor for this uh, two step core we can calculate uh, simply by uh, calculating net core area divided by square of circumscribing circle. So for MCQ for this uh, transformer core design is uh, the core of transformer is laminated for dash dash reasons. So the answer for this core of my MCQ is uh, to lo lower the ED current. Okay. Uh, what is the reason between cruciform shape of transformer? So cruciform shape of transformer decreases the core loss and also it reduces the copper winding and also it decreases the reluctance of the core. So answer for this MCQ is all of the above. The core of transformer is constructed using. So for construction of the transformer core we are using silicon steel. Thank you.